So I'm out here in Brantford, the cheap showiness of nature with my GH5S on complete auto mode. I'm gonna see how the autofocus works on this. So this is kind of yet another autofocus, but also more of an in general auto mode for the GH5S. I'm gonna see what it's like to vlog like camera conspiracies guy. So stick around, hang out, we'll have some fun. Guys got any questions or comments about this? Leave it down below. Give a big old like and subscribe. That would help out a lot. Thanks. So how's the auto mode treating me when I'm in the full sun? It's not easy starting to talk in front of a camera. With all these people around you. The camera conspiracies guy is pretty brave. Casey, is that your name? It's kind of neat though. I've got my camera on my Zoo and Weeble. Zoo and Weeble S. And it's not that heavy. It's pretty good. Here I am entering a more shadowy, contrasty area. With all kinds of leaves and trees and little bits of sunlight hitting me here and there. It's a really nice day out. Let's see if we can find any nature to photogular graph. There's gotta be a river around here somewhere. I can hear it. Not seeing very many people on this trail. Probably wanna stay out of my shot anyway. One thing I'm really loving about the GH5S is how long you can record. It seems like you can just keep recording and recording forever. As long as you have a nice new battery to shove in it or some kind of power source. You have extra cards to use. And you're good to go. How's the autofocus? Not bad. It's kind of bright out. I gotta keep wearing these. Whew. This thing does get a little heavy after a while gotta watch out for the cyclists. It's hard to keep your eyes on the road. Ooh, not bad. It's not focusing on my glasses. It wants to stay on my face. So there's all kinds of different autofocus tests you can do is what I'm coming to realize. You could probably spend a good hour doing all kinds of crap. I can see with now why Philip Bloom has such long videos where he's testing out and doing things and his cats and his all kinds of stuff. He's really thorough though. Gerald Undone, now that's a thorough guy. I've seen some of his autofocus tests too. He knows what's up. That guy's one of my favorite YouTubers. I, I love purple too, so I'm a little bit, uh, maybe I'm a little bit biased. All kinds of cyclers coming down the trail. It's hard to just keep chatting away, make it like it's nothing. Zoom. And he's gone, just like that. This is the walking pedestrian bridge in Brantford. It's a really beautiful area. I haven't been over here in a while. I don't live in this town. I just figured I would try some stuff out while I'm here for unspecified reasons. So as I was saying, I love recording on this thing. Uh, I love how it just keeps recording and recording and recording and doesn't stop. It gets pretty hot too, I've noticed, pretty warm to the touch. When I was doing some autofocus testing out in full sunlight the other day, it was definitely pretty warm by the time I was done. And that's a lot of the big thing that people are talking about right now is how the R5, the Sony A, a7S 3 and things like that 
a lot of other cameras can't really record for very long not for the length that this one can anyway this is among the first cameras that could keep recording and recording and recording so that's the thing with micro four thirds though i mean they have much smaller sensors so you can keep recording indefinitely you can just keep swapping out memory cards swapping out the batteries a lot of people say it's not worth it though because of the uh, autofocus on this thing and I'm finding it's actually not that bad. I'm gonna have to look at it once I get back, but I have a feeling it's not gonna be that bad. I still haven't checked which uh, version of the firmware I have. Ooh, I keep putting that off. I'm gonna do that tonight by the Lord Almighty's something or other. It shall be done. So this is a pretty light camera, like all these mirrorless cameras are. But I'm finding that even after carrying this around for like, I don't know how long I've been walking around now, five or 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. It's starting to get pretty heavy. I have to change my hands. Every now and then I'll hold it with two hands. The other thing I'm finding is I have to hold it way out to get a really good view because it's a 12 millimeter. I can't get it really close up to my face. It'd be much more comfortable if I could hold it like this, but that's too close. So you gotta hold it like that. Then everybody can see more of a picture behind me. How's that? Yeah. We got some cyclists, some pedestrians, some business on the trails. So let me know how this autofocus is. Let me know how the auto mode in general is. I had to stop for a second because I had a weird thing with my Zoo and Weeble S. It just uh, went all crooked for some strange reason. I'm not sure why. And then I had to stop and rebalance it. So let me know how you think about this. Uh, complete auto mode with the Panasonic. Let me know what you think about the autofocus. Does this seem like a good vlogging option? This Panasonic GH5S on a Zoom and Weevil. It'd probably be better if you had a bit of a longer extension or something so you could get a slightly wider shot. But other than that, I'm really focusing on the uh, autofocus features of this camera and the lens in complete auto mode, how the white balance, exposure, shutter speed and all that jazz is. I'm finding it uh, seems to be reacting fairly quickly. I'm not sure how quick it is compared to too many other cameras and this is the only one I have like this so hopefully you can uh, find some sort of usefulness from this video and see for yourself. Now, I don't want to surprise anybody too much or anything. I want to, this may come to a shock to many of you, but I don't actually do this kind of thing very much. This is the first time I've ever really walked around with the camera vlogging like this out in public. It's definitely not as easy as Casey from Camera Conspiracies makes it look. But you gotta have some balls, that's for sure. Not really give a shit about what people are thinking as they're walking up behind you. I got stuff to do, I got things to accomplish. I don't have time for popularity games, contests, or people trying to get by me in wheelchairs. I just don't have time. Well, I got time for the wheelchair people. I always got time for them. Ooh, that glare. See, that's the thing I'm wondering if it's a little overexposed. I could probably use some ND filters. It's probably one of the first things I should buy as an accessory for this camera. I'm thinking that the autofocus probably doesn't work quite as well when it's low light because it's a contrast based system. So I should probably try some tests like that in much lower light. So I'll probably try another video later on, try some more evening shots and try the complete auto system in that. So I'll uh, just end this here and hopefully we'll all chat again soon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave those down below. 
We can have a great conversation about all kinds of things. If you like these sunglasses, the cars behind me, the building, I have no idea. It's a beautiful building. So just remember, I love you.